do. Hey Watson, it seems that some of our clients are still struggling with uploading and sizing their images for the gang sheet. What you got? So to your benefit, Sherlock, I actually have just been working with a client and here's what we went through. Hey Ebony, this is Rob from Splurge. I was calling about your order you put in. So I see that you put in for three images on a 22 by 24 inch sheet, but you sent three links. What exactly are you looking for? Rob, I was trying to actually get them um, on the DTF. However, I didn't know how to put it in. Um, I was glad, I'm glad you gave me a call because I needed some guidance. Okay, so what exactly are you looking for? Because typically when it comes in, we like to have everything ganged on one sheet. That's why all we do is upload it and we print it, and that's how we typically do things. I mean, we typically charge for us to do things, but we don't like doing that. We'd rather you do it yourself and not take your money. So what exactly are you trying to accomplish? I'm actually wanting to put the images on some shirts. However, is there like a specific app or anything I need to go through in order to get it sent over to you correctly? Okay, so there's multiple different programs that you can go through. I mean, I'll just name a couple off the top of my head is, you know, Silhouette has one, Canva has one, Photoshop, AI, anything where you can set up a platform. So I'm gonna work with you and I'm gonna go through um, AI to, or I'm sorry, Canva to get you set up. So I noticed that you sent me an email here that told me the exact sizes that you're looking for. And if you give me just a second, I'm gonna go to my email to pull that up. Is that correct? You did send me an email, right? Yes, I did send over an email because I knew what I was sending was not what you really needed. But I wanted to give more of an explanation in the email. Perfect. So let me get into that email real quick. And let's see where we at right here. Oh. All right, so I see uh, we have Ebony right here with everything. So I'm saying that you need 11 by eight, an 11 by seven, and 11 by 14, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, so I'm not 100% certain about the 11 by 14 just because of the sizing. I mean, everything is symmetrical when we send everything through. So if it's 11 inches tall, I can't control how wide it is or 17 inches tall or 14 inches tall. I can't control the size. Are you okay with that part right there? Yes, I am. Okay, perfect. So let's go back into Canva. You ordered a 22 by 24 inch sheet. So what we're gonna do is, like I said, you can use other programs outside of Canva. It don't matter. Anything that you can make your um, canvas the size that you need to do. So here in Canva, all I'm gonna do is go to create new design, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I'm gonna do a custom size. Okay. So on my custom size, I'm going to change my PX, which are pixels. I'm going to change it to inches. Now, you do have to have the professional version to be able to do this. Um, but there's multiple programmings out there that you can do this with. Most of you have to pay for, but you can find your own outside of that. Okay. But I'm going to make it a 22 by 24 inch platform right there. So I got my design right here. So I'm going to take this design and I'm going to throw it out over here. That's way, you know, we can work off of two screens at one time okay. with that. So I'm going to go back into my email and my look at your design. So I'm going to bring this in. This is 11 by 17. So, I mean, the design looks great. I don't think I'll have any issues. Just make sure that it's a PNG with a transparent background. Okay. So I'm going to take this image. I'm going to slide over here into Canva and it looks like it's a transparent background, which is great. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it 11 inches just because that's what you asked for. So I'm gonna take this 11 inches, I'm gonna put it sideways right here. So now we got a perfect 11 inch size on your first order. So the second one, oh, we're gonna go with this lion. And that one is, I'm gonna drag it over and then I'm gonna go back into your email and look at your email. And that one right there is 11 by eight. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pull it down a little bit and I'm gonna drag this edge and you can see where my numbers change right there. Mm -hmm. 
So I can go with an 11 by 11, or I can go with an eight by eight. What would you prefer for me to be able to do for you for this time right here? Well, let's do the 11 by 11. We'll do an 11 by 11. And like I said, this is not a typical that we do with the company. Um, we are able to offer the outside services, but it is not done through Splurge or Incubate. It is done through pretty much designs by RCE, which is my company okay. that does that right there. So, and that is a separate fee, and that fee right there is totally different than anything through our company. So we're just gonna take, we're gonna set this right here for right now. And then we're gonna go to our last design. So this right here is an 11 by 14. So I'm gonna go ahead and download load this, and let's see what the best direction is that we can do for this right there. Okay. So if I do this right there, right now as it comes in, I'm just gonna stretch this edge in right here because I have a lot of white. I'm gonna stretch this edge in right here because I have a lot of white. The top and bottom looks pretty good. We look for top to bottom, left to right is what we look for for it to be filled. That's the way we don't have excess printing and we don't charge more than what we need to. We wanna save you as much money as we can. Gotcha. So as I go with this, right now I'm at a height of 12.5. You did 14 which I can still do 14, and I do 14, it makes this image 10.8 inches wide. Are we good with 10.8 inches wide, or do we need to go with a smaller image just because of everything being symmetrical? Like I said, we don't change your imaging because it can distress it, and we don't want to mess up with what image that you have, if that makes sense. Um, we can take it in a little bit. Okay, so when you say a little bit, I mean, right now we are at, like I said, a... 10.5 so what size do you look for you look for like a typical sizing or actually i'm putting it on a shirt so okay what size shirt are we putting it on it's going to be a <clears throat> two or three x a two or three x yeah. so typically what we look for when we go through our shirts we look for you know you want to go nipple to nipple where okay. it comes down to that so when i say nipple to nipple so as you, as you stand up straight you put nipple to nipple the typical size is a 10.5 now we are going on a 2X shirt, so I would say the max of 11 would be good um, because we don't wanna wrap into the pits, we don't wanna go to the stomach, we want the focal point to be exactly on the image. Do you agree with what I'm saying or do we need to change up a little bit? I totally agree. Okay, so we're gonna go to that 11 inch by 14.5. Okay. Now 14.5 is kinda large, so I actually would suggest to go back to the 10 inch just because how big it is, or um, just because of how big it is, and we don't want the focal point to be in the stomach. Okay. That is definitely not a focal point that you want. You want it to be, that image pops out from where it is. So, you understanding what I'm saying with that? I do. Does that make sense? Are we good with doing something like yes. that? Okay, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that with the sheet that you ordered, and I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna rotate your image. That's why I can get it on there and save the most oh, that I can. Okay. So Canva has this great way of being able to do this. So now I have my 22 by 24 inch sheet. I have the three images that was ordered by Miss Ebony right here. And we have everything set the way that it needs to be. So with the imaging sizing the way I have, are we good with this imaging sizing right here or do we need to change something up? Let's bring the, this one down a little bit. That way we can keep the uh... Oh, uh, what is it called? The offset. offset. Okay, that's right. We did yeah. have an offset on the lion. So if we go back into our email and we look at it here, we can see definitely on the lion that we have an offset right there. That's where it is all the way around it. So we can just take this image right here. We're going to okay. slide this right here. We're going to slide this right here. And looking at what we have right here in the email versus what we have in there, it's going to protect all of our offset all the way around. So are we good with what we have right here? We are. All right, so in Canva, I cannot speak to other platforms, but I can speak to plat uh, Canva. Um, we can speak to Silhouette AI and that, but we're in Canva right now. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share this image right here. And when I share this image, I'm gonna hit download. When I hit download, I am just gonna take and hit transparent background. So now, as my image comes through, I have a transparent background. But mind you, on the lion right here, there is no transparent background because there is a white offset. But as I go through and look at her other images that Miss Ebony has, I have no white outline around this one. And I have, maybe, 
there we go, no white line outline around this one right here. So we're going to print exactly what we see right here. If there is a white background, that white background will be printed. 90% of the time we do catch that, but it is not 100% of the time. We print what we see and that's how your images come through. We try to catch it, but it is not 100% comparison. So on all, Right now we have a 22 by 24 inch sheet. Are you happy with your imaging right here, Miss Ebony? Am. Do we have a better understanding, you know, with yes. this conversation on how to upload, how to gang, and any platform that you use, that you can use so many different platforms out there, you just set your canvas style at the sizing that you're using. And I think we go up to 220 inches on our website. Oh, wow. We have a very long stretch that we can do. But we can do the shorter stretches also. But we are also a company that we don't charge extra for the more that you buy, it goes cheaper. We are all the way around to make sure you get the most bang for your buck. So all I'm going to do is I'm gonna take your image right now, I will upload it and I will have it to you soon. Okay, thank you so much. All right, much. I, I appreciate, appreciate you. you, and when I have it, I will let you know via email. If it is your first order, make sure you go to spam mail, because it will go to spam mail. Make sure you click that this is not spam, and then it'll go to your regular email, and you will be notified, if that makes sense. Yes, it does. Thank you so much for your help. Hey, that's what we're here for. I appreciate you, Ms. Ebony. We'll talk to you, you soon. Too. All, All right. right, thank have you. A good one.